I know many of us are staying in much more than we want to. And I know that uh, for many of us, it's not even an option to go to the movies anymore. We're watching TV. Well, there is a wonderful series on Netflix, it, which teaches what I believe 100%. It's called The Kindness Diaries. And the whole gist of the story is through these episodes that you can binge watch is that people are kind everywhere, that kindness overwhelms anything else that you'll find in life and in people. So often we're taught stranger danger, and maybe that's needed to a point, but I'll tell you, it also blocks us and puts us in our own prisons where we are not able to get past these barriers to make lifelong friends. Well, this man starts out in Alaska and he drives a Volkswagen Bug, 50 years old, down to Argentina with no money, no gasoline, no food, and he relies on the kindness of others and just the good and the generosity and the charity of others. And he finds it everywhere. And the people that he meets, uh, it's just, it, it, it's profound. He makes new lifelong friends and he's never alone. I encourage you, watch The Kindness Diaries on Netflix. And let's talk about kindness in our own life. We can with God's help, go past the barriers that we have created, we've been taught to create in our life, and to reach out over them to touch and to be kind to another, and to accept kindness in return. One of the things that he discovered, and I've discovered in life, is the people that have the least want to share the most. And it is uh, quite profound in this teaching that he shows. Well, you probably have a lot because you're watching this right now. So spiritually, you, you know uh, a lot. And I ask you to use that to touch other people, not, not to convert them. You know I don't believe in that. I, you know, it's not my way or the highway. Uh, it is to, to be kind to people that aren't like you, that uh, maybe don't worship the way you do, uh, to be kind to people that are, especially now in this political season, of all sides and to find their goodness and to walk the path with them and discover more about life through their life. I ask you to do this, to, to really reach out. I have done this in the past and it has been the greatest memories that I have, some of the greatest people that I've ever known where I could get out of Chris Chenoweth and his own barriers and to, to touch another person and to get to know them. You know, we all say uh, verbally, uh, hi, how are you? And then they come back fine. That's not communication. That's an auto robot. When you go past that, and you know what I teach. Well, maybe you don't. I teach to send, spend seven seconds extra with each person that you come in contact with. That's the time that it takes to go past the barriers that we have created and to make real communication. The next time you're at the line at the grocery store or at Walmart, Touch that person that is there and probably extremely lonely because no one treats them as a person. And you do. And you reach out. And you'll see the difference every time you come through that line again. They will light up because you saw them. You were kind. And then if you see a person 
by the side of the road with a broken down car, maybe a Volkswagen bug, stop and help. And be willing to go the extra mile. You'll find that your life expands, it broadens, it gets better than you could have ever dreamed of, and your friendships will just multiply. I pray that you have, for lack of a better term, the spiritual guts to do this, because when you do, you're going to find yourself. <laughs>